in this video i am going to show you how to create this awesome phenomenal uber eats redesign redesign it's an understatement this is not just only a redesign this is a makeover this is a revamp if you can go and check the uber eats website the za1 which is the south african version it's not like this it's cluttered we have cleaned it and made it better simply because i want you to get high quality skills to land a job if this is interesting keep on watching until the end this is awesome you are going to learn a lot of skills here you are going to learn the latest and the greatest auto layout feature of figma that's not all you are also going to learn how to create component so that in case you might be given thousands and thousands of screens you can make change only on one place and it take effects everywhere that will mean you have saved time and the employers will love you for that otherwise if you are excited as i am let's get into it hey what's up and welcome i am matthew msingati the hybrid the best of both world the double-edged sword i am the designer and at the same time i am a developer from south africa in this video i am going to teach you a lot of things both in theory and in practical most importantly i am going to teach you the tricks of the trade and the concepts and fundamentals without wasting time let's just get straight into it in this video we are going to create this over its design but to say we are going to create it or we are going to clone it okay it's an understatement what we are going to do we are going to use all what we have learned so far here at coded ui to improve uber its design when i got into this website to be honest i was disappointed let me be honest i was disappointed simply because this is the uber eats za version which is south african version well if you might be interested i have got a netflix clone that i did on coded design where i teach people how to code the netflix clone that i did i've created it's a web application it also features or tells other people how do you create an application that detects the country of the user if you might be interested in that please uh, check the link in the description below so when i was looking at the country this is za which means my country uh, designer or developers they came up with this interface hence i'm saying let me fight for my country let's improve this design okay in this video i am going to unpack what's wrong with this design and what we can do with it so we are going to use figma to design this exactly as is but we are going to improve it so what is wrong with this design okay what is wrong with this design okay this looks cool this looks amazing and also don't forget we are going to create this as well okay this um side drawer or side menu okay using figma okay so what's wrong with this design okay when i first landed in this website I kind of felt like something is wrong with it, but I couldn't pinpoint. Okay. Remember here at Coded UI, we've got a video that explain like the fundamentals where I teach the fundamentals of um, UX. Okay. So this is a, an error in the UX and the user experience because user experience is psychological, if I can be honest. So I was not surprised when I really couldn't pinpoint what's the problem with this okay and then when i was looking closer and i was like okay i think uber eats south africa has missed okay the the concept of a foreground and a background okay one might ask what do you mean this user interface looks cool this is what i mean number one i was asking myself why these component or these graphic design elements they are aligned left okay i hope um also on your screen it's left okay when i was thinking deeper about it and i realized okay these guys have got a background image that has got a space here so what they were trying to do they were trying to place this graphic design element 
in this space okay in the table in this brown space okay simply because on this side there is some sort of food images and at the same time they want to entice you with uh, these images okay i'm not going to get into details okay about the photography and and what and and what they could have done to improve this i'm not going to get there but i'm only going to attend the error in the ux and the ui okay so because of that psychologically they have affected me or they have lost okay in the battle of the mind psychology let me just take a water break okay how they have lost the psychological battle simply because when i'm looking at the design at this design okay my mind okay will quickly psychologically okay subconsciously without me being aware of it okay it will quickly look at the foreground and it will quickly look at the background and it will try to create a distinction between the foreground element and the background element let me just quickly use uh, google to quickly help me in breaking this down visually let me just uh, type um, graphic design okay let me just type graphic design foreground okay foreground graphic design let me just uh, check here okay i think i like these images more especially the one with the cup i like that okay as you can see when you look at any design okay as a designer you are responsible for manipulating the perception okay of the user that's what we do as graphic designers we are agents of perception we intersect reality we just get in in the middle of reality before you make conclusion okay we form a certain perception about what you are looking at okay now let's look at this image i like this image okay it it some sort of reflects the background and the foreground exactly the way i want to or the exactly the way i think it will like hit the point home as you can see guys when you are looking at this in real life this is one dimension okay i mean it's not two dimension it's not like this is at the back of this it's not even three dimension this is just one dimension it's plain but the designer has created an illusion of a foreground and a background how has that been achieved number one the size of this image okay number two the placement number three this environment okay this environment same background okay this environment and then number four the color and the sizing as well okay number five the fact that this has been some sort of reflected okay as you can see this is some sort of a mirror reflection of this also it plays a role but when you look at this image your mind um decodes this data as a foreground and a background automatically in design as soon as you give me a design that that doesn't some sort of distinctly okay give me some sort of a signal of what is in the background and what is in the foreground you have failed okay let's also look at the last one this one okay as you can see guys we've got um a top view or a helicopter view of or a bird's eye view of this coffee okay very interesting and nice design by the way as you can see this is the foreground okay but the shadow there okay it's more like a background that's how your mind processes okay um visual information visual data okay cool let's continue let's go back to uber it's um okay uber it's design okay so what uber it's did they took a big background it's a background my mind is telling me that this is a background and at the same time it will look for a foreground okay cool when it's trying to look for a foreground it looks at this design element this design element has been placed in a certain area of the foreground minus one point this element 
is going one step back to the background. Okay, cool. Meaning that now, when I'm perceiving this whole design, okay, to be honest, I struggled to see where is the website. My mind was asking me, where is the website? Where is the element to click on? I felt like this design is empty. Um, there's nothing much to it, okay? Even though this is in front of me. How they have hidden this element? Simply because they have mixed the background with the foreground. My mind, psychologically, or anybody's mind, is looking at the totality of this image. As if this is a background image with this as something that has been designed in it okay you don't separate it from the background because it has been positioned in such a way such a way that it forms part of the background to me this is um a challenge okay also i do respect that um design it's subjective or design is an opinion okay there's no one who's absolutely right about it. Okay, so I do understand that. But according to my own opinion, this has been a problem. So let's look at uh, let's look at another uh, big uh, tech company. Okay, which is Netflix. Okay, you can see here there is um, similar clutter in terms of the design. Okay, what I'm saying clutter is that um, there is high contrast, like strong colors, and too much of images okay and also not only too much images there is no white space okay what is a white space in design a white space in design it's not necessarily a space a white space in terms of colors but it's the breathing room okay in the overall artwork okay then again let's just quickly um ask google to show us um graphic design white space so that i can hit point the point home Okay, I hope I'm going to get an image where um, it will show me the white space. Okay, I think, let me first see this one, the one that has been labeled. Okay, okay as you can see guys, okay, there is active white space here. Okay, this part, it has been regarded as a white space, even though it's not white. Okay, it just means a breathing room. Okay, a breathing room. Okay, a space that has been intentionally allowed by a designer okay um to some sort of enhance the design okay we call this a white space okay um which other image can i use to some sort of um explain the white space okay let me just click on this one uh, let me just click on this one since there's nothing white here but there is a white space what might be a white space in this design number one this designer has made use of a white space let me show you where the white space is look at this emptiness okay ignore the colors just look at this emptiness where i am okay look at this okay look at this okay a a white space in design it's a graphic design element on its own okay um, maybe new designers might not get it okay maybe it takes some time to understand that it's a design element of it on its own as you grow in design you will make use of it and your design will be more professional and you might be better at communicating a certain message than other designers okay so this is a white space so these two companies they don't make use of a white space maybe obviously there is a reason okay there is a reason okay i do understand that but let's see how netflix has decided to separate the foreground and the background they didn't like um do the best okay it's not like the best okay let's go back to here as you can see okay too, there's too much imagery and whatever but what netflix decided to do they have decided um, to put um, some sort of a transparency, okay, or an overlay, okay, a small dark overlay there, okay, so that your mind can understand, even though it's not, the last time I visited um, this, the last time I visited this um, website, the transparency was a little bit darker, okay, there was some sort of a separation between the background and the foreground, but now, 
it looks like is not as um some sort of as dark as i was hoping for but nevertheless they always put a an overlay in a background overlay so that you can um some sort of separate the background from the foreground okay as you can see this is what you need to do and also centering this plays a an important role because psychologically you focus from the center going outward when you are interpreting a design a visual material okay in terms of reading you read from left to right but in terms of interpreting visual data from center then going other ways okay here uber eats decided to put this on the left which was a problem so guys let's just um get into it and see how we are going to fix this i'm ready i'm excited i'm pumped up i hope you are also excited so if you are excited please don't forget just hit the subscribe button and hit the like button comment and also share with somebody who want to pursue a career in ux and ui design in case they you know a friend that wants to take it further to um what can i say take it further to coding okay just uh check my youtube channel I've got a YouTube channel code called um, Coded Design where I teach people how to code as well. Okay, maybe I might um, as well take this trans um, take this revamped version of um, Uber Eats and code it here. So guys, I hope you are ready. Let's just jump straight into it. Obviously, um, designers start from a blank page. Okay, so you must get used to a blank page. Okay, so this is Figma. You can go to www.figma.com and register Figma. It's free, more especially the free tier. You can do everything. I'm also using the free tier. Okay. So let me just quickly take a water break. Okay. Thank you so much about that. Now, guys, let's get into it. Now I'm going to type here Uber Revamp. This is the name uber revamp this is the name of the project okay so this is going to be um going to be what a desktop version okay in terms of this is a desktop um design so let's go to the frame here okay click on the frame as you can see we've got options here let's choose any desktop okay as you can see guys this is the desktop so what i want to do um i want to change the background a little bit as you can see um which background is this let me see let me see okay i want to click here and also i want to click here in this gray background um where can i change it let me click on the design my apologies it looks like i was on the prototype side of things that's why this was some sort of i didn't really understand my apologies about that make sure you are in design and then when you're in design let's just change the background color what are we trying to do here the problem that i'm having with this um view at the moment i cannot separate visually the background and the foreground i think this guys okay speaks to exactly what we are trying to solve here okay i'm not sure if you will agree okay so i'm trying to separate the background you see okay very important to separate the background from the foreground the more once you miss it okay i'm you mean the experience okay of your design is not going to be good okay so i'm done separating the background from the foreground now my eyes my and my psychology is happy okay and then let's look at the design and see how are we going to attack it okay um what can we do what we can do here um, i am not going to use uh, their images um, we are going to look for our own images reason being i want to show you also how do you search for the best and high quality images okay so we've got an option uh, let's click here what's in here okay the reason why you must look at the overall design okay we are going to create um some components which are going to be reusable so when we create those components we need to be aware of all the visual all the components that we have so that when we are creating this reusable component okay it can be 
so that it can work for all the elements in the UI. Imagine designing components, pattern components, thinking only we've got some rounded corner components like this, okay? Then when we are somewhere in the design, halfway in the design, we are like, we need to modify that component. It must also um, accommodate these uh, type of components, the blocky one and all those things. So you must always um, look for, I'm not sure, the, the overall user interface and see what you are going to do with your type of buttons and other things, okay? The first thing that we are going to do, we want the screenshot, okay? So that we can use this as a reference. I'm going to press um, a command PRT space SC, okay? On the top row of your keyboard, more especially on the top right, okay? It's there, I'm on Windows, okay? So I'm going to quickly press that. Now my apologies, it looks like the command is not responding. Let's see what might be the problem. Let me press it again. Okay, now it's responding, okay? Let's see guys, so I want to screenshot this part, okay? I want to screenshot this part and then let me copy it and then I am going to open uh, Figma, okay? Still loading, let me copy it, okay? And then let's paste it here as you can see guys okay this is what we have okay now let's get into the basic this is for beginners if you know nothing about figma don't worry this is coded ui i am matthew singati the hybrid the designer and at the same time i'm a developer i am going to take you somewhere just relax and give me give it a try okay now let's see, the first thing that we want to do, we want to create a page, okay? Or we want to create a canvas in terms of um, Adobe suit, okay? But here we call that a frame, okay? Let's see, this is where you uh, click when you want to create a frame, you can click here. I want you to observe what is going on here. This has changed, okay? Whatever item that you click here, this will change accordingly. So we've got desktop here in the list, with us, we want to create a UI for the desktop, of course. So let's just click any of these guys for now, okay? Um, as you can see here, okay, our page um, background is not as dark as the way I want it to be. So let's just come and click here. Make sure it's a bit um, darker, okay? At least this is much better. What we are doing here, we are separating the background from the foreground. I think we've discussed about this when we're talking about this design, okay? So the next thing is to rename our project. You just double click there and let's type Uber Eats. Okay, revamp. Okay, revamp. I am happy with this. Now let's just analyze this design, okay? Okay, so we're not going to look at this design as one component, okay? Or one thing, like as a page, no. We are going to look at its own component. So the second way of looking at it is to identify the components. Okay, we've got the landing page as the um, compound component, a component that we will add things up to. Okay, like one plus one plus one is equal to three. This represents three, but three doesn't exist on its own. It depends on one plus one plus one. This uh, landing page depends on the navigation or the top nav or the top bar which is this one and this top bar doesn't exist it consists of this lock-in button and this and this icon okay as you can see um this means that not only it depends on it's composed of the top navigation also it has got this component which let's say it's an order component and there is an image in the background. So after we have identified that we've got some standalone components that we can copy and paste, this means that it's important that we create these components separately. On the next project, we can copy these and reuse them. So that's why it's very important to first start from the smaller component. So now we are going to create a reusable button. Okay, let me zoom out. The first method to do this, okay, is to um, create a text let's say sign up okay you've got a text component let me just zoom in okay you've got a text component and you can create a shape there 
okay change the background and then um, zoom in uh, i don't see what i'm looking for but i don't mind much let's zoom in again this is what i'm looking for okay change the border radius and then from then you change this to white okay make sure that this is at the back and then you highlight everything center it vertically and horizontally this might work as you can see what if we want to add an icon here okay let's just go to my favorite website for adding icon um maybe one might ask why are you using um, icons from a website instead of using figma plugin i have tried a couple of them um they always want to be paid which is a good thing that's not a problem with it okay but now i've got an alternative so i am choosing to try this website okay because it has got a lot of options some of the plugin as much as they want to be paid but they don't have the icons that i want okay this uh, website seems or it has everything that i want so let's just type here user just look for an item uh, or an icon with the user okay so when you're here you are just going to click edit and just click copy go back to uh, your figma and Control v and paste so this comes with a frame and the component that we want is inside or the svg or the icon that we want so we must double click there to actually select the icon that we want as you can see guys we are taking it out of the container and we are going to delete the container then we are going to change this to white as you can see and then we are going to take this to here okay now we are creating this button something like this okay that means we have to adjust this and adjust this okay and then make sure that everything is centered horizontal and vertically not uh, not um vertically okay let me just group this like this and then click this one and click this one make sure that i center everything as you can see guys we might get an icon okay now let me introduce to you a different way to do it okay which is going to be efficient quick and time saving and it's the best way to do it let's just ungroup here okay let me copy this okay um let me leave it as white for now okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to click this text and convert and add an auto layout as you can see add auto layout it's shift a now this means that this component looks bigger it seems like there is a container outside it okay of course that's what we've added it's a container outside it's more like a virtual container you don't really see it okay and it's a container with superpowers you will see that now now what we want to do okay let me press v just to test okay as you can see now we've got more options here so as soon as you don't see more options here or you feel like in your own version or in your own computer you don't see what i have here always uh, switch between k and v press the item that you want to customize is either you press k or you press v okay i have pressed k as you can see less and then i'm going back and then i've pressed v so there is a container here because of an auto layout how do you know that when you click here if you see these dots and these small bars here that means you have clicked the container the the layout container so let's go to fill of the layout container let's just fill it with black i'm happy with this as you can see it looks like we are achieving the same thing as this one one might be what's the difference okay what's the point i do understand that just give me some time you will see what's the point number one when i want to expand this just check what happens okay this is something that you are going to do most of the time okay this is always centered the reason why it's this is because of this is an auto layout okay but here when you want to do this this is a problem okay cool and then undo 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 okay what if maybe we want to add an icon this is what we are going to do with the auto layout control cv this is our icon we are going to take it closer to here until auto layout suggests that we can put the icon here what if we want to scratch this as you can see nice somebody might say no matthew we want this icon to be on the left just like this one 
cool beans this is what we are going to do with this one we will have to shift it and shift this one go back here as you can see guys this is a redundant okay we don't want this things can be better here you can just click this okay make sure you click this and click your left arrow boom done happy okay so now let's continue enough about demonstrating the superpowers of auto layout okay now what we want to do we want to uh to round the corners okay the corner rounded corners and then we're going to come here and let's just type 50. i'm happy with this okay it happens that it works at the get go we've got a button just like that boom okay i am happy with this um i am happy with this and the button has got an icon okay so in most cases let's go back to our uh mockup or to our website um in most cases we are going to use rounded buttons i think so as you can see guys just in this uh, layout this button appears twice okay and in the menu also we've got two of them here okay so as you can see we've got two of these and we've got two of these okay and also we've got uh, one of these and two of these okay so as you can see the rounded buttons are winning okay so we might as well make these some sort of the default okay let's just quickly scroll up and see okay do we have other rounded buttons um not really okay but i would like to believe in the entire uber eats system we will see more of this remember this is not um the whole application okay this is just a page and this is the za version of the page let me just show you okay we've got all countries here okay meaning that this is a bigger project than we think so imagine if we design it in a carelessly and then let's say we've been we've, we have been tasked to create this over its design and then the owner or the manager come and say change this change that change this in japan change this in australia or maybe the nigerian version so it was going to be a nightmare so the reason why we are adhering to best way of doing things we want to be efficient we want to be some sort of um, instant we want to be quick and also we want to be productive so that we can position ourselves for promotion okay i want to teach you in such a way that you get a job and you are able to answer interview questions so as you can see this is a bigger project okay as you can see here okay we don't have the black and white as you can see so let's quickly get into it so what i'm going to do for now i'm going to remove the icon okay and keep it aside let me just give it a black color so that i can use it whenever i need to so we've just got a button just like that okay now let's continue now we want to create variations okay we want to create um variations my apologies about that let me just take a water break okay thank you so much i'm back okay why do we want to create variation as you have seen we've got this one and this one and also we've got this one so let's quickly do that so i'm going to convert this to a component how do i do that when you click on it please observe that the border around it it's blue now when you click on component it's going to change the color but let's start with this let's name this okay as you can see this is what i've selected in fact let's start by naming the frame okay <clears throat> apologies about that the frame now is going to be landing page okay now we can see everything here is inside this okay i'm happy with that and then we also want to change this you can double click on it to a button okay i'm happy with that okay now when you click here this is a button so what i want you to observe observe the border color of this this color and also observe the color of this when we click create a component boom as you can see we've got a different color there if you've noticed that i'm proud of you you are going to become the best ui ux designer let's continue so now we've just created a component what is a component a component is a blueprint for creating other components okay so that when you've got a lot of components 
composed out of this component. If you want to change the color of all of them, you can just change here once and then the color will change across the entire application. Remember in the case of Uber Eats, we've got um, Uber Eats UK, we've got Uber Eats Nigeria, we've got Uber Eats South Africa, Japan, China. This means that this is a big app, okay? If we do things this way, we can go to this component and change this one component um, to green and the entire application will change. That's value right there, okay? That's the advantage that comes with doing things the right way. Let me just quickly take a water break. Okay, today I have recorded two long videos. This is the second one. Okay, the first one is here on my coding channel. This one, as you can see, an hour ago. So it's a chat application. So uh, I think um, my throat is dry a little bit. But let's continue, guys. So please um, bear with me when I'm taking frequent water breaks let's continue now what i want to do this is a component i'm happy with that now let's create variations okay like instances of the same component not necessarily instances okay this is the wrong word variations okay it's the right word i will tell you when we're creating instances so we can create this and then come here as you can see add a variant okay let's add a variant what that variant will be um let's go and check here is this white yes the background is white i'm happy with that all right let's quickly create that my apologies for zooming in too much let's double click on what can we do first okay this is what we must do first let's just work on the naming first okay move this now as you can see after we've added the variant okay we've got this nice dotted border okay this means that this is our blueprint. Treat this like a factory. This is where we will manufacture a lot of copies, okay? As you can see, guys, okay? Now, let's continue. And then let me click on this uh, component with all its variant. Let's just look at these properties, okay? Let's just look at these properties for some time. And then, as you can see here, we've got property one. And when we click here, okay? As you can see, we've got property one and we've got values. What we want to do we want these to be meaningful, okay? What we can do, instead of saying this is property one, let's say this is type. Why this is going to be type? Because we've got a button, we've got a type black, let's say, and we've got a type white. So type is there for that reason. And then we've got default. As you can see, guys, when I'm hovering over default, this is the one that has been selected. When I'm hovering over variant two, this is being selected very important so let's hover over default um my apologies about that whatever i just done da, 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 da. let me just click unto unto i think uh, i did uh, something there okay okay i'm happy with this let's just come back here and click okay um go back here uh, my apologies let's just go back here on this um, configuration okay we had type here which was cool okay and then from there okay let's see let's see let's see okay and then from there we had uh default as you can see guys i've showed you this then now we want to click here on default you click once the default it's going to be rounded okay um, rounded black that means this has got a black background and now when you click on variant 2 let me just click once uh double click looks like i can't get out of this maybe okay now this is fine and then let's change this one to rounded white okay cool i'm happy with this okay now let's go to rounded white let's change the background to white I'm happy with this let's change double click on this let's change this color to black okay i'm happy with this now let's try to be clever and be smart okay we've got black and we've got white remember this application is like a global application it's available everywhere 
Okay, remember we said we can come here and change the color here and it will change everywhere. Okay, also what we can do, we can introduce color styles. Okay, let's click on this background. Okay, as you can see here, I hope you can see. Now let's go to the dots here. Okay, and then let's come to plus. Okay, nope, my apologies about that. This is not what I want. Let's just click on the dots here, as you can see, guys. Okay, now let's add a color style. Okay, new style, yes. Okay, as you can see, this black has already been sampled. Let's say this is our own black. Okay, and then we're going to create this style. And then we're just going to click on this um, word, the text. Okay, and then we're going to come here and then we're going to click here and then we're going to create a new style and we will call this white. Whenever we want to use white in the entire design, we're going to select these so that what if maybe the manager or the boss who has employed us, Uber Eats, they say we want to change our colors. Okay, on the entire design, let's say we've got like 3,000 pages, a okay, very big Figma file. What we can do as smart designers, we can just go to our colors and change our colors. Instead of black and white, we make green and white. We will change the background on only one color variable and it's going to change everywhere. Okay, so that's why we're creating these color styles. I will demonstrate that later. Now, let's see. Let's double click on this variant. Um, now, let's check the names. When I click here, this is rounded black, as you can see. When I click here, this is rounded white. I'm happy with this. But the rounded white, it's like the foreground has blended with the background. We are a little bit confused. Okay, so let's just go to effect. As you can see, guys, by default, we've added a drop shadow. I'm happy with that. But let's click on this um, sun icon. And then let's make um, Y zero so that our effect could be right in the center as you can see i'm happy with this guys we're not going to go uh, above and beyond in creating this effect remember i'm just introducing you okay it is your duty to get in okay now let's continue this is not um it, it doesn't matter for now because we have not created instances okay even if it can be sign up sign up sign up i don't mind much about this now let's come to the practicality of it what i'm going to do i'm just going to click this one the master okay i'm going to press alt on windows and at the same time i'm going to drag this so that i can create a duplicate this is now the fun part of it i'm creating an instance of this alt as you can see the cursor changes and i'm dragging boom this is now an instance, a child, a product of this factory. What if somebody says, Matthew, you've put the wrong button here. I don't want, um, I don't want this black one. I want the white one. Look at this. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go under button. On types, I can just come here and click the white one. And that's it. And then I'm just going to change here and type log in boom as you can see guys we have just created different types of variation and instances of this button okay isn't this awesome this is awesome to me this is a lifesaver okay so we've just created two buttons at once but we can take this further okay um we can take this further we can add another variant here Okay, remember we've got also um, square buttons. Okay, let's add another variant. Okay, as you can see. And then what we want to do in this variant, um, we, okay, we need to be clever. Okay, we need to have some sort of a system. Okay, is that the right word? Yes, we need to have some sort of a system of doing things. Let's first... Um, let me see what am i going to do um let's see let's see let's okay let's just um do things this way guys okay at the same time i don't want to confuse you okay i think if we can stick to simplicity 
that will be the best way for you to learn okay i don't want to introduce a lot of things a lot of things a lot of things let's continue okay we said we want to do um another variation okay another variant so what we want to do now that we have clicked this one let's go here and let's go to the radius let's put 10 and see i'm somewhat happy with this but i think also five can work well well okay i'm happy with this okay what type of a variant is this one okay so let's click on the overall factory let's name call this and then i'm going to go here on the settings okay um we've got type 3 here let's call this type 3 um um is it rounded it's not really rounded let's say blocky okay it's like a block okay blocky black okay this is blocky black let's just click on it and see if is it blocky black yes somebody might come and say matthew the manager told us that we need to change this white to more like a blocky black kind of a thing we are going to click here and then let's go to the type we are going to type we are going to click blocky black as you can see guys boom i hope now you see where i'm going with this this is awesome okay now let's also add another variant um blocky white okay let's just click here add a variant okay um and then from there what we can do um let's go to border radius of five and then what we want to do we want to change the color to white okay now as you can see we are not going to use any white we are going to use our own white okay where is the background color of this um this is the layout i'm happy with this okay i think this is the background color let's see if i subtract it yes so now let's add we are going to add white okay that means automatically this has to be black okay yes let's see okay i'm happy with this guys okay we've got all the variations of our button okay cool i'm happy with this and then what we can do now let's look at what's next okay this is just a this is just a an icon and this is just a word okay so that means we are ready now we can compose and please note this i'm not saying we can create okay we can compose meaning that we're going to some sort of combine two pieces so that as a side effect we can create this okay so what we are going to do now um we are going to compose this okay how are we going to do that well let's start from here my apologies for zooming in and out okay okay nope okay i know that this is sign up let's create a sign up button okay sign up what type of a button sign up is going to be it's going to be rounded black boom done with this and i'm happy with it we can make it smaller if you want this is the power of auto layout okay and then from this let's just say copy and paste okay and then we want to create login um let's just type here login log in okay and the type of this it's a uh, rounded white as you can see guys boom we've got lock in here okay and then what we want to do also as you can see this is very close to the uh, to the button okay let's even the size is not the same i'm happy with that let's just make this a little bit smaller okay and let's make this a little bit smaller i'm happy with this okay then we're going to highlight all of these let's make an auto layout okay shift a as you can see now we can just go here and adjust this as we wish as you can see guys okay i'm happy with this okay i'm happy with this and then from there after we've got this auto layout we will need an icon which is some sort of a menu and then this is the menu that we are looking for edit copy 
and then what we want to do let's go back and paste it here as you can see guys now i think you know what we are going to do we are going to double click and get the actual icon and move it out of a container and select the container and delete it happy with that and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to type this word uber it's okay uber it's i'm happy with that let's just come here and type uber space it's and then what we can do we can just make this bold i'm just going to press ctrl b to make this bold my apologies about that let me just quickly take a water break thank you so much let's get back on track now as you can see we've got some loose elements here that when we work on them we can create an awesome navigation bar so let's just put this one here highlight all of these press shift a to create an auto layout i'm happy with this um let's look at um the size it looks like the size of this is a little bit bigger but that doesn't matter okay we've got an auto layout of this we are going to select this part and this part shift a auto layout again okay one might feel like looks like you are abusing auto layout exactly that's what i'm doing because if i don't abuse auto layout the design is going to abuse me okay remember a computer can do anything but i am a human being i've got some limitations okay i can't change thousand screens within an hour i cannot but with a computer you can so if we don't abuse auto layout we are going to abuse ourselves we are going to break our back so as you can see it looks like in this auto layout this is more on the top and this is more like on the bottom there is this gap that we don't want that's not much of a problem this is the reason we can click here now everything is centered okay now what we can do what we can do we've created an auto layout of this okay now this trick or this tip it's auto layout of auto layout i will explain what i mean we need to create the last auto layout as a container you will see why now okay because one might feel like we already got an auto layout why are we creating another auto layout or let me just show you a problem that might exist okay because of having of not having the outer container as auto layout so we want to increase this okay this is staying in the middle okay this is almost always in the middle i'm happy with it i don't have a problem with it okay now we need to push this to this edge and this to this edge let's quickly do that we're going to click here and then we are going to click auto when we click auto in coding this is a space between okay this effect okay there is, must be a big space between these as you can see these guys are pushing themselves to the edge let's scratch this to here and let's scratch this to here i'm happy with this move them up a little bit boom okay um but now okay um what can i say these are almost like on the edge okay so we want to bring these closer a little bit okay we can do that in the same um auto layout which is here as you can see everything happens okay but let's look at um the responsibilities the responsibility of this auto layout if i if we can be honest okay is not to hold these items okay but to align them center and put a space in between them okay it's not responsible for holding it okay so we don't need to give it a lot of responsibilities okay we need to give it some sort of few responsibilities okay so what we are going to do we are going to create another auto layout on this one as a container shift okay auto layout as you can see now we can name this auto layout okay where is it um here is it okay we can name this auto layout as a nav bar okay if we want okay we can even change the background of navbar okay 
we can even change the background of navbar okay it makes sense that we can change the background of navbar because navbar is housing containing everything okay as you can see navbar is containing everything okay now one might ask um why now it looks like okay navbar is fitting like is the width of navbar is like this and this one okay the child is almost like taking its own route it's like there's there's no respect here okay the container is telling the child to be like this small but the child is overlapping and all those things let's quickly fix that let's get into the container okay the the container inside this one the small one let's check on the width of it um let's change it from being fixed to fit container so that it can fit on the parent container as you can see now we are getting there now i'm going to scratch this to fit here okay i'm happy with this now if we want to add padding we don't add padding into the inside container we add padding in the outside container my apologies about that we can add it here okay also we can add it here okay as you can see guys okay now what we are going to do we are going to change the color here and remove this so that we can have this so i hope you see i hope you see the reason why um we have some sort of that overall container as you can see the um, what can i say the padding from this side and this side it's not the same so we need to fix that okay so what we can do we can just go to this container um this is 106 let's just make it 50 for now i'm happy with that and let's make it 50 also where also here um is it the right place okay um my apologies about that let's quickly do this we will see if it's the right place let's just quickly go here and let's increase this and see which value will increase as you can see this is the value that increases let's make it 50 here i'm happy with this okay let's work on the proportion okay this is almost like the same okay this is uh visible and this is visible okay and this is not really it's not that visible okay but what we can do we can make i click ctrl b and make this um a little bit bigger and then since we are in control here what we can do i can make this a little bit uh, bigger something like this okay i'm happy with this and then what we are going to do we're just going to increase this okay remember guys these are the things that i trust that you can use your own discretion to do this okay okay and then in this container i'm just going to make sure that i center everything as you can see let me press v okay so that i can center everything i'm happy about this nice guys we've just created um what can i say a navigation bar okay i'm happy with this i'm really really happy with this okay so now what we can do let's create um the background let's add the background image okay remember we said we're not going to use this one okay we are going to create find our own background image okay Mm, what we want to do we are going to use um the resources let's just click on resources and click on plugins let's search for pixels okay this is pixels um now let me just wait for pixels to load um there is some sort of um a rain starting i hope um if you are seeing some challenges in the sound please bear with me okay it's raining and i don't want to cut the video okay because at least let's find a way to finish it so please bear with me so let me type here beggar first okay let's see what we are going to get Okay, let's see what we are going to get. Um, it's somewhat like it, but I am looking for a landscape image, a very big landscape image. Oh, since we are going to, what can I say? Since we are going to create some sort of a layer, okay? Remember we said we are going to fix something, so we don't really... 
what can I say? Need a certain image with uh, whatever. Let's just look for a beautiful image. Okay. A beautiful image. I like this. Okay. I like this. Let's see. Try and drop it. Okay. As you can see, guys. So, if you want to use a high quality image, please um, check uh, Pexel. They've got also a, a web uh, version. You can just go www.pexels.com, I think, and then you are going to get uh, these images. Okay. So, this is a very nice image. Okay. This is very, very nice. So, what we are going to do now, um, what we are going to do now, let's remove uh, this. Okay, let me delete this image. I'm not going to need. We can take this outside this. Okay, usually, okay, you create a frame for these. Okay, you create a frame for these. Okay, you take these and put them in this frame. And then you rename this frame to components. Okay. I'll rename this frame to components. Okay, I'm happy with this. My apologies about that. Now let's continue, guys. Okay. So what I want to do now, um, I want to fit this image in the background. Okay. Let me stretch it a little bit. Something like this. Okay, something like this. Okay. Something like this, guys. I'm happy with this. Now I'm going to right click and send this to the back. I'm happy with it. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is not white. Okay. So, what we are going to do, we are going to make sure that we've got enough bar. Okay. Let me just um, double click here and just remove this capital letter. Okay. There is no need to have a capital letter here. So, I'm going to make sure that I've clicked enough bar and I want to put a fill there. Okay, not this way. I want to go to the styles and I'm looking for white. Okay, as you can see, guys. Okay, this is our own version. I'm happy with this. I hope you are also happy with this. Okay, so now let's test things. Let's say Uber Eats is rebranding. Okay, Uber Eats is rebranding, telling us that um, instead of white, we want green. Okay, so things need to change. Okay, let's let me just um a screenshot where is the green for Uber Eats? Okay, let's see. Do we have a green for Uber Eats here? Or it's only on the logo. Where can we get a logo? Okay, what's this? Let me just right click and inspect this. Okay, this is an image. Okay, let me copy the image. Copy the image and let's go back here. Okay. And then let's say Uber Eats is telling us that all the black buttons need to be green. Okay. So look at this, guys. This is how we're going to do it. We are just going to go to our styles and colors. Um, let me just click on the background here. Okay. As you can see on the background, I've got my colors here. So I'm going to go to settings and make sure I sample this green. As you can see, guys, it changes everywhere. Okay. So I hope now you see um, the reason behind some certain colors and and a lot of things, guys. Okay. As you can see, it changes everywhere. It doesn't matter how many screens we have. It doesn't matter how many pages. It will change everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. So enough about that let's just continue let me just keep this um because i might use it okay now let's continue guys okay let's see according to this how far we are and just click here okay so for us in terms of having this more like on far left okay we're just going to put it on the center okay now let's quickly see what are we going to do. Let's create an overlay. Okay. Let's just create an overlay. Or since we know our background is white, let's just create an opacity on this image. Mm, what's the best way to go about it? Let's create an overlay. 
y and overlay similarly because in the future we might want to change some colors of the overlay okay so if we create the background color it's going to be a problem because now it will mean if the color is green as soon as you show the background is going to be green so let's just leave the background um intact meaning that we must not change it let's just create an overlay guys okay background overlay i'm happy with this as you can see at the moment it's on top um don't mind much about that we can take it to the back of a nav bar as you can see that's what i'm using okay let me just change this to overlay change this to overlay and then we're going to put it um, on white okay pure white and then we're going to come here play around with the transparency Okay, guys, I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm happy with this. And then, what we are going to do now, let's create this component. Okay, this part. Okay, also this part, we're not just going to get into creating it. Okay, um, we're not going to just get into creating it. We are going to first uh, create this drop down. Okay, this drop down. Also, in terms of coding, okay, it, this is not a some sort of a design, um, what can I say, solution, or we cannot not necessarily, we, we don't want to fix this in the design. That's what I wanted to say. Can I just take a water break, maybe? Okay, this is a problem, because when you click on this, this icon doesn't change, okay? It's telling us that we can click here to bring this down but it's supposed to change so that it can be an arrow up to tell you that you can roll this up okay but this is a coding problem if i'm solving this i will be solving it here on coded design okay so let's go back here let's create this component okay let's create this component and then this is a uh, deliver now this is time and this is time okay um now what can you say okay i'm just going to play around with icons here guys okay remember we are improving this or i'm creating my own version of it okay maybe i might be right maybe i might be wrong maybe when you are creating or coding or designing along with me you can also use your own icon okay let me just go here and type deliver okay let's see what we will see on deliver okay if we can get some sort of a motorcycle something like this okay but a better one okay let me type motorcycle okay i think this is better Okay, what appeals to deliver? I think this appeals to deliver. Okay, it has got that delivery thing here. Let me just copy this and go back where and go back here. I'm happy with this. Now let's go to our components. Okay, let's go and create this component. Okay, um, let's just um, go here and let's print screen this in fact the whole thing okay and then i am going to copy the image and paste it on our figma okay okay as you can see guys this is what we are trying to create i think by now you've got an idea of how can we create this instead of having a time here we are going to have this motorcycle okay let's take this out of this frame i'm happy with it let's change the color of this to our own black as you can see this is not our own black let's change it to our own black okay i'm happy with this and then let's go back here and look for an angle icon angle down Mm, this one mm, my apologies about that i can take this uh this one because this one looks lighter okay then i will just change this one and rotate it 
Okay, I think this, yeah, let me just copy this one and rotate it. It's not much of a problem. Take it out of this, zoom in. Okay, delete this one. And then I'm happy about this. Let me just rotate it. Pressing control at this, pressing shift at the same time so that it can be rotated nicely okay i'm happy with this press k so that i can scale it okay i'm happy with this all right and then um what can i do let me control cv then let me crop this click here to crop i only want this okay the other thing that I don't really understand, of which it's only Uber Eats South Africa that understands that, it's this part here. Why this is too big, I really don't know, okay? So, remember I said we are fixing this. Okay, so this is inside a certain circle, okay? This is too big to be inside a circle. So with us, we are not going to put it inside a circle deliver now let's type deliver now now okay let me make this smaller and then let me make this something like this i'm happy with this and then let me make this angle smaller okay nope i have changed the proportion Make sure I press shift. Okay. I'm happy with this. Now what I'm going to do. I'm just going to highlight everything. And press shift A. For an auto layout. As you can see. We've just got an auto layout. The alignment is not exactly what we want. This is the reason. So let's just click here. As you can see. Everything has been. I'm sort of. Um, centered vert horizontally. Okay. Or vertically. My apologies about that. Vertically. Okay. I'm happy with this. Okay. And then. Mm, what we are going to do let's just have a background here or i can even change this background okay let's see okay so that we can uh, see the layout okay and then let's create an overall container okay that means we are going to press shift um a again so that we can have a drop down and then we're going to change this to um a drop down okay to a drop down to a drop down okay this is a drop down let's give it a white background um what do i want there is a color here which is black that is not our own black okay so now we have removed it let's double click here just to double check yes okay i think this was the one what about this one okay uh this one this is our own black i'm happy with that so let's look at the overall container let's make sure that we are filling it with this white okay as you can see guys we are getting there um let's just increase the width and height here okay this one the inside one okay let's see when we scratch this this one doesn't scratch let's double click here the inside one make sure the width of it it fills the entire container fills the container i'm happy with that but still this is um fixed okay let's go here and instead of being fixed let's make auto as you can see now if we can take this container everything um what can i say it's responsive i can say it responds okay and then let me put the um, Okay, we've already got some sort of a padding there okay let me just um pump up the padding a little bit on both sides i'm happy with this okay here we can just lift it up a little bit something like this um let's make sure everything is centered i'm happy with this so as you can see guys okay i am happy with this mm, what else do i want to do mm. 
what else do I want to do? Okay, I am happy with this. Okay. Now, I want to create this right here. Okay. It looks like I can use the same layout here. Okay, which is the inside one. Okay, I can make a copy. Control D. And move it out of this container. Instead, I'm going to look for a clock. Um, go to my icons and look for a clock. Okay, and look for a clock icon. I hope you guys are learning something. If you do, please um, don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button. In case you might want to contact me and you want me to teach you something, this is my website. Okay, this is my website. I've got a 10-hour coaching course where I teach you exactly what you want to know. If you might want to contact me, just click on Discovery Call and then give me your name and your email. And guys, don't forget to join my newsletters. Um, the link is in the description. This is where I will share a lot of things that I maybe they are not ideal for YouTube as a platform. Okay, uh, more written tips and tricks. Okay, to help you become a better designer so let's just go back to where we were we want to be here um this is what we want i'm happy with this when i'm here i can even change the color here if i want to but we've got our own color so we might as well copy this and paste it here i will click and then take this out okay and then let's change this to our own black uh, okay and then look at how nice this is okay let's see okay i'm just going to drag this and drop it here and just remove this one boom we've just got this okay without this of course okay as you can see now let's just move this a little bit no okay i have to press v so that i can have these options and then move this to here okay i'm happy with this um the other thing that i can do i don't need auto here i can just put a value a fixed value okay i like this fixed value so that i can adjust it okay so this is deliver now this is scheduled for later that means i will need a calendar go back here and look for calendar Okay, what type of a calendar that I'm looking for? I'm looking for a solid calendar. Okay, let's take this one. Let's just copy this and go back to where? Go back to our Figma and paste here. Okay, then we're going to duplicate. Um, this is fine like this. Let's duplicate this, as you can see, guys. Put it to the bottom. And let's take this outside of this. Um, double click take this outside of this and delete this container and then let's just check what is the size of this is 15 we are going to click here make sure we lock the aspect ratio so that this cannot grow like this we don't want this so the reason why we are locking this we are making sure we're locking the aspect ratio and just uh, press 15 this is the height okay i'm happy with this then we can take this and we want to drop it here but it looks like the layout is not helping us now let's see it's not responding i don't have a problem with that what we are going to do i'm going to hold it and push it here as you can see it doesn't snap as it used to i'm going to press control on windows as you can see guys now it's showing me those options okay then i can drop it let me delete this one and then let's change this to our black color black color i'm happy with this let's go back and see okay all right all right all right i'm happy with this um what else do we want to do now okay the other thing that i want to do now i want to i think there is some sort of um a light grayish thing there at the back a circle this one i'm going to leave it entirely up to you guys okay if you want to you can edit okay 
for later schedule for later okay i'm happy with this and then what i'm going to do it feels like to me this is an auto layout so i can click this one and click this one and press shift a nope okay looks like this one and this one is not an auto layout i wonder what is the problem is this an auto layout yes okay so let me click on this and shift this and shift a as you can see guys this is an auto layout this will be somewhere here okay what about the size let me press k to increase the size something like this okay i'm happy with this and then let's create an auto layout of this shift a okay and i'm going to call these list items okay um this is some sort of list oh let me just call it a list okay this is a list and then i'm going to look at the width of this one copy it and then come to this container uh, we don't have a width let me just paste there this is the width let's go back and press v to get more option let's just center everything mm, is that centering let's just align left i'm happy with that and then let's go to the fill and put our own white okay happy with this bring this here nice and then let me bring this down maybe with this um is this aligning it looks like but for me these are not supposed to align it it, it doesn't really tell me that these list items are under this okay it's it, it to me it looks like it's the same thing there's no hierarchy okay in terms of who owns who so for me i'm going to go to this uh, which one is it let's see yes this is what i'm going to do nope not really all of them not really all of them if i can be honest let me click undo let's change these separately okay, okay to me this feels like this is under that one even if it can be a small shift okay even if it can be a small one i don't mind about it as long as it's there okay okay somewhat like it okay and then um the other thing that i'm going to change here this doesn't have to be like black or oh, what we can do we can leave this one as black remember we need to to establish some hierarchy here okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to change this i'm going to introduce another color which is the uber it's green i hope this is the uber it's green okay so um how am i going to do that let okay let me just click here instead of this black i want this color and then what i'm going to do Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and click on style and create a new one. Okay, let me type here green. Okay, that means now we've got, um, is this green? Okay, let's go to the fill and let's see, do we have green here? It looks like I didn't save guys, my apologies. Yes, this is now going to work. This is green and let me see color style. As you can see, this is the green. For me this is much better okay it establishes some sort of a hierarchy okay between these okay if these are just in a same group white and same group black this doesn't um it doesn't make it for me okay to me it doesn't really make it okay it doesn't make it what else um let me just also try to make this okay a green let's see guys okay okay it looks like we are getting there if everything could be green here nobody can some sort of miss the fact that this is a drop down and these are different things okay for me 
this works okay but we will test it against this white background okay there's still a room or what we can do also we can change this okay remember we are establishing hierarchy here instead of white um let's just create a new color that we are not going to save okay which is somewhat white okay but not exactly white okay some sort of grayish color okay i'm happy with this okay i'm happy with this okay but remember this doesn't stay here it belongs here okay i'm happy with this um what else can we do okay what else can we do i think there's nothing we can do i'm happy with this and then the other thing that i want what if maybe we can make this a little bit smaller okay let's see a little bit smaller okay let's see yes this works for me i think the order that we want to establish you can now you will never be confused this is under this one okay but at the same time this looks like it's disabled in a way okay this looks like it's disabled um, meaning that you are not able to click on it it's inactive or something like that okay um so what we can do let's go back to white here okay um let's go back to our own white here and then let's play around with this one with this white here let's see what we can do with this white just to be a little bit something like this i'm happy with this okay i'm happy with this. something that is different and then let's make sure that we center everything like center center as you can see guys everything has been centered okay i'm happy with this now what i'm going to do um, what i'm going to do i am going to let's see what i'm going to do let's see what i'm going to do let's see um god help me okay let's see um let me first create this from, okay let me do this um let me let's see let's see let's see let me create a component out of this okay and then let me create a variant i'm happy with this okay is it possible if on this variant i can drop something here okay in the list of variants look like it's not um, that possible okay let's see what i want to do mm -hmm. so this is a variant um okay how could i get this to okay now i see what i can do let me just click okay let me just click this variant and add an auto layout on it shift a okay and then let's see if i can take this to here okay um da, 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 da. let's see um is this what i want let's see let's see let's see not really if i can be honest let me click undo 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 let's undo also the variant okay let me undo also the the component okay yes yeah, this is not a component let me just click here and click an auto layout so that it can be there as you can see guys it's already there and then let me just center everything it's vertically okay so that means this is what i mean when i'm saying it's vertical okay as you can see this is added on the vertical aspect if you want to make it horizontal you click e why it's not changing this auto layout is supposed to change as you can see guys okay okay i like this oh i think i can be clever let me make let me make this okay um let me make this a component on its own on its entirety okay all of it as it is and then in terms of the variation i will just delete this let's try that instead of adding it okay let's just delete it 
All right, let's see. Now what I want to do, I want to make sure this is zero. Okay, as you can see, this is zero. I'm happy with this. Okay, is everything centered? Yes, I'm happy with this. And then let's create a, a component out of this. Okay, and then let's create a variant. I'm happy with this. A variant won't have this part. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, we have managed to do what we want to do. Okay, and then what I want to do now, I want to some sort of um, prototype this. Okay, I want to prototype this. As you can see, this um, in terms of the order, this doesn't like looks um, natural. Let's take this and let me press press arrow up. Okay, it doesn't move. Let's move this up. Um, can it move up a little bit? Looks like it doesn't. Okay, let me move this down then. Let's see. Okay, let me move this one up. I'm happy with this. This is much better. Okay, this makes sense to me. This is more like the default and this is a, um, a variant. Okay, now what we are going to do I'm going to let me try to animate this and see a uh, um, uh, prototype it okay let's click on prototype here okay and then um ba -ba 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 -ba, yes this is what I want I want you to animate to here okay I'm happy with this obviously on click yes change to prototype one okay yes yeah i think i'm happy with this we just need to test it and see if is it going to do what we want i wish it can toggle back and forth okay when you click on it suppose it shows this when you click on it suppose it height that's that's the, the idea behind okay and then let's prototype it and see Okay, so when I'm clicking on it, suppose it shows um, the list menu, okay? Suppose it shows the list menu. My apologies for this delay. This is still loading, okay? If you have not subscribed, please, guys, um, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Okay, let me take a water break in the meantime. Okay, guys, let's see. It's getting there. Okay, my apologies about this. Okay, here is it. Looks like it's coming. Looks like it's coming. Okay, what can I do in the meantime? Mm, oh, let me just wait for it, guys, but I don't know. Okay yes here is it but it looks like it's all of this okay there is something guys as you can see there is something here okay there is something here the other thing that i'm noticing okay is that i am i am trying to to prototype or to run a prototype of the exact component as you can see this is the exact component i think this is not the right way of doing it, guys. Okay, let's create an instance of it. Meaning that we are going to take this one. And I'm going to press Alt and take this one outside of this. Okay, I think this is um, something that can be prototyped. Okay, let's test it, guys. Okay. Let's click on this one and let's see if I prototype it. Let's see when I'm clicking on that one. Is it going to show me the the bottom list? Okay, let's see that. My apologies for the delay. Let's just quickly see. Okay, in the meantime, guys, don't forget to check my coding channel. You can just come here and subscribe and also don't forget to check my newsletter 
okay and subscribe there as well so that you can be notified when i publish useful content there okay let's just wait uh, for some time next time if we are doing this again i think i'm going to pause this okay there is why i'm just continuing now since i've already like uh continued i think next time i'm just going to pause this because it's taking longer than i expected okay it's taking longer than i expected or let me try to pause it guys since i know your time is valuable i will come back when it has uh finished hey guys i am back now let's continue okay i've just realized um that um running a prototype only on this component is not as effective okay so what we can do let's just copy this to this page okay Okay, let's just copy this to this page and then let's just click this one and run the prototype my apologies about uh, the delay and the ups and downs so let's see the speed uh, this time around I think it's going to be better um, when you look at the prototype it makes sense um, because there is um, also some sort of a laptop um, in the mix okay so this signals that um the component which was too small which i was trying to run before it was like too small okay so maybe the system was struggling okay to get all the things together as you can see guys okay um this is the final output and it's um at least it has been uh, faster okay so let's go back and see guys i like the fact that um there is some sort of a hover effect there let's just press and see as you can see guys okay everything is working as we wished okay meaning that we are getting there much better this is um better work we are getting there so let's continue okay so now that we have this okay now that we have this when we click it okay the drop down uh, works let's go back to the original component okay let's just um click here and let's toggle to prototyping as you can see when we click here we are taken to this one okay and then um now when we click here we must be taken back to this one okay we are creating some sort of a toggle effect okay so let's take this to here okay and then from there let's just uh click this one and test it's very important to take things um step by step okay it's easy to to get confused if you like don't if you skip a lot of steps okay so that's my approach and that's how i've been learning okay i always take my time chillax and learn everything okay step by step okay one bite at a time let's see guys where we are now i'm happy with this okay let's see as you can see there's also another hover effect cool beans i'm happy with this if you have managed to reach uh, this stage um congratulations you are on your way to becoming a better ux ui designer okay keep pushing um keep trying okay i'm proud of you let's continue okay now what we want to do um let's see here okay let's see here maybe what we can do here we can just um change the color on this um state okay obviously guys um let me be honest this is not necessary okay but i'm just um i'm not sure doing it for fun if i can be honest my apologies for trying fun things with your own time as well but um if we've got the potential to push it further why not okay also um obviously i want to teach you something okay so let's see what we can do here my apologies about that okay let's see what we can do about this let's change this to black let's change this to black okay change this to black and let's change this to black okay just for the fun of it guys we don't have to be serious okay don't have to be serious and then i want to rotate this 
Okay, let me press shift at the same time. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with this. Um, let's just go back and uh, see guys. Okay, step by step. Okay, we're not in a hurry. We want to become better UX UI designers. Let's see. Okay, let's just wait for it. Just wait for it and see. It's not going to take long. Okay, let's see. Okay, my apologies about that delay, but I think it's going to show up now, 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 okay? Um, but guys, at least we, we get the essence, okay? We do get the essence of um, what's going on here, okay? Yeah, because I'm concerned about your time as well. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, guys, you can um you can go ahead and make your own variation. Okay, maybe you might feel like green is supposed to be when you've clicked this. Okay, at least I showed you how it's done. So let's continue, guys. Okay, thank you so much for understanding and waiting for me. Okay, and my slow computer. I appreciate that. So back to business. Okay. Now I think um, we've got this component, we've got variations, we've got this one, and we just need to create this one. As you know, how are we going to create this one? Um, we're just going to create a text, make it an auto layout, put an icon, and then make another auto layout. Cool. Let's see. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure that um, whatever that I'm doing needs to be almost like the same size as this one. Or maybe everything must be equal to the same size as the button. Okay, let's see guys what we can do. Let's take a button. Do I have a button here? Yes. Let's just take uh, this button specifically. I'm going to press Alt. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this button and put it here. Let's see. Okay, let's just uh, make this button the same height as this. Okay, what's the height of this? 44, I'm happy with that. Okay, let me check. Uh, is this the right? My apologies about that. Okay, let's make it 44 here. Okay. Let's see, is it the same? I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm happy with this. And then what else do we want to do? Okay, now let's create this one. Okay, let's see. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, cool. I'm happy with this. And then let's create this. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select a text. Okay, type here test. Shift A to create, <clears throat> my apologies about that, to create an auto layout. Uh, and then let me look for a location icon. Okay, let me look for a location icon. Okay, let me look for a location icon. Let's see, type location. Okay, and then Am I connected? Yes, okay, 100%. Looks like I'm connected. My apologies for this. Let me just uh, refresh here. Okay, let me just confirm. Okay, I'm connected and everything works well. Let me just click here, hoping to refresh everything. Okay, um, okay. meanwhile, it's still reloading. I think I've got a better plan. Here is my better plan, guys. Here is my better plan. I'm going to control and take this from here and put it here. This is an icon. Okay, we can change it later. Okay, let's keep it going and keep it flowing like water. Okay, so what I want to do now, 
um i'm done with this okay um let's see what else do i need to do it's only that okay the icon and the text and let me um what can i say create another auto layout okay another auto layout and that auto layout okay not necessarily that auto layout let me create a white background of this okay the fill create a white background i'm happy with that and then the height make sure it's 44 okay i'm happy with that okay let's see i'm happy with that and then let's uh, change the width okay in fact guys i think let me not change this background let me be consistent with what i have been doing let's change the entire background the layout one okay my apologies about that okay i think even here i was supposed to do that okay not this one not this one but this one okay that and then let's make this 44 okay still the same thing as you can see here make this 44 still the same thing okay i'm happy with that let's make sure we center everything happy about that let's see okay we are having this and we are having we have this and we have this okay all right now with us i think everything is going to be centered okay so we might as well put this here okay because everything is going to be centered um i'm not really happy with our height if i can be honest let's just okay this is more big and and visible okay this is more big and visible um so let's just try a little bit okay this is 44 let's make it 55 this is much better to me let's make it 55 now this is much better to me and let's make this 55 okay this is much better to me at least i'm happy with this okay i'm happy with this and then what else do we want to do we want to make sure that um this container fills um the entire container the height of this and then from there let's align things to the right happy with that and then let's just go to here okay enter delivery address um let's go here enter delivery address delivery address okay as you can see guys let's just change the color to a gray background um am i changing the right thing click undo undo double click here this is the field is it changing to red yes now let's change not to this i'm happy with this all right okay now what i need to do i think i need to use this instead okay let me use this instead so that i can see things clearly okay okay let's work on this okay i'm happy with this i'm happy with this okay let me see this is 16 let's make this one 16 as well so this doesn't want to be 16 okay let's see what we can do i'm happy with this okay as you can see guys let's just uh increase the gap between let me just click here where is the gap is it this one uh not really my apologies about that let me just double click this is what i want to increase 
okay let's go back to our icons as you, okay i was going to say as you can see but it looks like it's not there let's tap location i was sure that it was going to load let's just uh, click on this one copy this svg go back here paste it i think now you know the routine double click the inner icon take it down like this and then go back here um let's just make it smaller before we fit it in there and then let's just drag and drop it here and then let's delete this one as you can see guys okay this looks more or less like that one okay i'm happy with this so what we are going to do i hope you already know by now i'm going to select everything and press shift a to create an auto layout and then i'm going to work on the resizing there okay i'm happy with this um what else remember this is 16 16 16 uh, or even this one is it 16 okay this looks bigger in fact it's not sign up let's type here find food and let's try to make it bold Control b i think so and if it's 12 let's try 16 i think i'm happy with this i am happy with this okay not this one let's double click here i'm happy with this find food and now let's test it okay let's test it remember we made some adjustments so this is moving as you can see i don't want that so let me lock it the overlay as you can see guys let's just lock it here so that it won't move okay and then let's see put this in the center okay um just by looking at it uh the white overlay doesn't really really work for me okay the white overlay doesn't really work but i'm happy with um the design though okay i'm happy with the design let's see okay let's see what we're going to do first let's run the prototype and see okay let me click this okay let me click this guys and then let's run it and see okay if you've managed to make it this far please don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel and also check my other channel correct design where i teach coding okay let's see what we can do okay let's see guys i hope you are enjoying i hope um you are getting a lot of value and you are learning something okay if maybe there's something that you want to ask please don't forget you can just shoot a comment below so in the meantime okay it's loading okay i was going to do something else as you can see guys this is where we are okay i am happy with this um this is neat okay even though i'm still having some issues with our height and our and our um, sizes but i believe this is something that you can do and make it your own okay now let's test this one as you can see guys okay this is what we have now and then let's click here as you can see this is what we have okay um about the jumping up and down um for now since i don't want to what can i say um i don't want to make this long okay i don't want to make this very very long and also i don't like the jumping uh thingy there okay so maybe since we're already here let's just see what we can do about it hoping that it's, going, it's not going to take more of our time okay okay let's see okay let's see let's see what we can do first let's just change this to white this one okay um where is it okay because i can see there on the prototype it doesn't re doesn't look like nice okay so what i'm going to do here let me try this okay this is sitting here okay i'm happy with that is there a way in which this could be part of a layout okay this could be part of a layout and in that layout there must be a container that takes this height and as a solid height so that this when it expands it doesn't jump up it has no choice but to jump down okay let's see 
um what i'm going to do i will need a transparent shape something like this make the shape for now let me leave a color there so that i can see a lot of things let's say this is not what i want so i want to click this one and this one i want to make an auto layout shift a as you can see guys we've got an auto layout now what i want to do i want to make sure that this starts from here and this shape pushes this guy to where it's supposed to be okay to where this guy is supposed to be okay i'm happy with that make sure that everything is centered okay so now i'm hoping when i'm clicking here because there is this block here this is not going to jump up okay um the other thing that we can do okay let me just leave it like this for now if everything works then if everything works what i'm going to do i'm just going to make this transparent okay um okay it automatically refreshes so this means that i must not close this okay i didn't know that i'm glad that when i'm trying to help other people i am learning as well okay my apologies about that and i also i don't think this is um i don't think this is the same the same height this one and this one we will see what we can do let's see now as you can see guys okay nice okay as you can see now this doesn't jump up and down i'm happy with this so i'm just going to make this transparent i'll just have to take a look at what's going on here okay let's make this guy transparent uh, can't i remove the color yes and then let's just zoom in it looks like there are some other dynamics that we are not aware of okay but what we can do as a quick fix let's just move this up and move this up like this okay this is a quick fix guys okay this is a quick fix let's see okay the quick fix um seems like it's going to work okay um if i can be honest with you i don't know why this is not like 100 percent matching up whereas this is like this okay so maybe let's try this let's make this 65 and let's make this one 65 and let's make this 65 let's see okay is this uh, 65 yes is this 65 yes okay let's see guys okay i think we are good to go now everything is set as you can see guys okay i'm happy with this now let's see what we need to do okay now let's go to an interesting part this one okay we've got this part that we also need to create okay um let's make sure we what can i say um we'll screenshot this okay we'll screenshot this okay let me copy the screenshot okay let me copy the screenshot and let me paste the screenshot here okay i hope you are learning guys let me paste the screenshot here so in this one i'm going to be very fast i'm not going to explain a lot of things such that i think what i can do i can put this here and then i can lock it so that i can put some components on top of it let me just click this one and duplicate it take it to here make sure let me first okay it's fine and then this is what i'm going to do nope this is not what i want to select i want to select one can't this be on top let's see can't this be on, this on top not really mm, okay 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 this is overlay Okay, so now I'm looking for this image. Okay, let me just click undo. My apologies about that. Click undo. Let me click this one. Is this inside the landing page? No, and that is a problem. Let's take this guy inside here. Okay, this is much better. And then before I lock that guy, let's duplicate this and take this one here make sure this is on top as you can see guys i'm happy with this 
and then let me lock this one so that I cannot move it okay now what I want to do to make sure this is like this okay and then I'll scratch this okay as you can see guys our life is easier with auto layout as you can see I'm happy with this and then on control CV okay and then I want to type here log in right let's change the color um where is the color this is white let's change this to black okay let me change the variation or the variant okay um white i'm happy with this and then let's change the boldness nope um this is not what i want my apologies about that we wanted the blocky version let's see rounded yes blocky black okay do i have blocky white maybe this type it's blocky white yes okay i will have to go back and rename that accordingly okay but it looks like um this is not blocky white okay that means i have to make a blocky gray okay let's go back here um let me click this okay let me click uh, my apologies about that let me click this where do i want to be i want to be here let's um rename this to blocky um, a white i'm happy with that and then let's add another variant okay let me undo and i click one of these and maybe duplicate it is it going to be part of this yes let's see is there another variant that has been added as a result of duplicating this yes as you can see guys nice then what we want to do here uh we want to is it possible if i can have this all right what am i going to do okay i think i can copy this and paste it here and then what i'm going to do i'm going to come here and then let me sample this color okay let me just sample this color i'm happy with that and then we've got a uh, blocky gray my apologies about that that's not where i want it to be i want to be here this is blocky gray i'm happy with this and then what we are going to do we're going to go back to where we were here let's choose a variant let's look for blocky gray 100 percent i'm happy with that and then this is just a normal text and i copy and paste this let's see okay let's copy and paste this okay um it comes with html we need to find a way to kill that html i used to do this when i want to kill the html i will just copy this text in this uh place and then the html will be gone and then when i'm coming back suppose this doesn't feel like a link this is just plain text okay and that is it guys okay let's just um change this to it to somewhat something like this okay something like this i'm happy with this okay account um to your restaurant and sign up to deliver and then 
let's work on the space between um between what not between the words let's see paragraph spacing let's see yes paragraph spacing okay i'm happy with this guys let me make this bold a little bit uh, but it's too much can't we adjust the boldness maybe i think this is better medium okay let's put this here i'm happy with this so as you can see guys um we are getting there okay things are a bit quicker i'm happy with that and then let's take the image this one as is okay sure that i put this one here all right and then um there is more to love in the app okay cool let me copy and paste this and then i'm going to copy this make sure i kill all the html copy this and go back where go back here and paste this here okay um the paragraph text let's make it zero okay more to love in the app all right as you can see guys okay this doesn't take long okay i'm happy with this since i'm here i'm going to click this one and click this one auto layout make sure everything is centered i'm happy with this mm, and what else let's come here it looks like in the buttons we also have a rounded gray okay rounded gray let's go here this is android okay um let me just test something what if i can copy and paste this and then i want to add it here what will happen okay doesn't pick up okay let's take this one and press ctrl g okay ctrl g i wish it could be inside this one not a problem let's do it like this ctrl d and take this one out okay let's try it for the last time to see doesn't pick up press even when i'm pressing g it doesn't really want to pick up let's see okay so it will mean that we have to be in the component in order to make changes i don't have a problem with that i can do that let's create an android and a iphone variant okay so let's copy this okay take this to the side okay take this nope does this have a shadow not really okay maybe with that i think if it doesn't have a shadow i can i can copy and paste the black one okay as you can see guys what we are going to do here i am just going to change this color to what to this gray okay and i'm going to change this to black and i'm going to look for android icon okay let's see the android icon okay um is it me or it's the same thing okay i think the wi-fi is on let's just take why are you here i don't really know android all right let's just take this one okay let's go back um to where to here yes this is where i want to be let's paste this one since we're already here let's also look for an apple icon okay let's just look for apple icon 
we'll just about that. Okay, bro. Okay. And let's go back here. Paste. Okay, now let's take these outside of the frames. Okay. Looks like there's no frame here. This one, it had a frame. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I've got this one. Let me make this one the Android version. Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. Mm, meaning that the icon is big. Happy with this. Okay, and then let me duplicate this. Make sure that we check the size of this icon. Repeat as it is. Make sure I lock the aspect ratio and paste this. And then let's try and drop this and then let's delete this one. I'm happy with this. Let's see the um, naming. What's iPhone, Android. Let's just do that. Okay, Android. iPhone. We are done, guys. Okay, then what we can do. We can just copy and paste this. And then we can go to the variants. Okay, let's use this one. Um, okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with this and then I'm just going to duplicate it and then I'm just going to get the Apple version. As you can see, um, I didn't even, my apologies about that, I didn't even rename these, okay? But that's not much of a problem, as you can see everything is working. And then what I'm going to do now let me group things accordingly. Let me group the things accordingly. Okay. I'm happy with this. So, I want this one and this one inside auto layout. Shift A. I want this and this one in an auto layout. Shift A. I want this, this one and this one. They're already on an auto layout. I want this one. And this one on an auto layout shift a and then let's see everything has been aligned left this one and this one on an auto layout shift a as you can see this has been aligned nicely and then what i want to do um i want this one and this one okay everything on an auto layout as you can see everything is in an auto layout and then i want the auto layout of everything shift a and then I'm going to change the background color to white. Okay, let's go to fill. Fill this with white, as you can see, guys. Okay. Okay, let's just change this to sign up. Okay, sign up. Don't we have the login and sign up here? Okay, do we have a Space on the sign up. Okay, yes, I have missed that one. All right. Okay. Now I think I'm almost like done with this. Okay, let's see how this appears. It fills the entire page. I'm happy with that. Let's go back here, guys, and see. Okay. Um, da, da, da. is this the original one yes okay let's leave the original one so let's make increase the width and height of this the height in fact okay i'm happy with this and then what i'm going to do i'm going to set this to auto 
so that this can be pushed to the bottom and the height of this must not be fixed fit container as you can see the height fits the container and then there is padding around this so let's go to that container okay let's just increase um let me click everything center okay let's see am i okay happy with this is there any difference is there any difference is there any difference yes looks like there is and then here okay so i didn't really need this one okay this is what i needed let's see all right i am happy with this okay i am happy with this so now what i want to do let me remove this let me take this to here okay um now we want to animate we want to animate let's see what we can do guys let's prototype okay let's click this okay and then let's go to the prototype so what i want to do when i click what when i click this okay this but now yes okay when i click this as small as it is i want to be taken to nope let me make sure yes i want this and then what i want to do when i am clicking okay when i am clicking i need to make some settings here let's see navigate to not rail i want an overlay okay i want an overlay and then what else from here um let's see let's see let's see let's see um close when we click outside okay for now let's leave this like this so that i can teach you something okay so that you can learn okay let's see and then when i click here here is an overlay okay the first thing it's um just in the center okay this is not what we want so let's see what we can do okay Okay, let's see what we can do it's not in the center let's just click here on the overlay make some adjustment this is center this is top left let's try top left go back as you can see guys this is uh top left but the top left is the actual actual top left okay as you can see guys so i need to find a way to circumvent this okay let me see do we have something like an offset here in um in figma okay let's do one thing at a time let's check here as you can see now it's showing but how do i close it okay let's first um fix that let's click here and then close when click outside and add a background let's just check these two okay i like this background i don't have a problem with it as you can see guys now we are having a background so when you click outside it disappears when you click here it shows i'm happy with this let's see how can what else can we do go back and click here instant as you can see this is instant we don't really want that we want this to move in okay as you can see now it's moving in from some sort of a different direction let's see okay it's moving in from this direction that is not what we want guys let's set the direction we want it to move like this as you can see let's go back okay did it refresh i don't think so 100 percent. i'm happy with this now what we want to do let's work on uh, 
the um, let's work on what let me just be clever eh let me be clever can't i go to the design and then from then create an auto layout of this check here guys okay I'm going to create an empty thingy here just to fill in this gap okay just to fill in this gap nothing much okay i'm happy with this my apologies about this and then i'm going to create um an auto layout okay let's go to okay i will see what i can do let me create an auto layout of this in fact let me group it there's no need for auto layout here okay let me group it control g let's go to prototyping okay let's go to prototyping and let's test okay uh, maybe it's still loading or maybe because of we did a lot of things now it's not picking up i understand that okay let's see let's take this to the whole container instead okay let me okay it's fine let's see what i can do isn't this small okay let's make it a little bit bigger here let's go back to the design and just click here Okay, and then I'm going to press K and scale this a little bit. I'm happy with this. And then what I want to do now, I'm going to repeat all the steps. Okay, remember we are supposed to be on the prototype. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, let me take this to this one um looks like you are not picking this up i wonder why maybe it's because of you are not a frame i think so so meaning that we can undo 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 until we reach this stage okay and what we are going to do we are going to go back here and Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to ungroup this one. Why is ungroup? Um, oh, okay. Is this part of this? Yes, not part of this. Cool. Let's click this one and this one and create. Let's create an auto layout. I'm happy with this now. It's a frame. And then from there, let's go back to prototype and see. It looks like there's something, but I'm not sure. Let's see, guys. Okay, I'm happy with this. It went back to the center. That is not much of a problem. That is um, an understandable one. Okay, move in. Yes, move in this direction. Yes. Let's check here center top left let's see 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 maybe it's still uh loading maybe it's still refreshing okay maybe it's still refreshing let's just refresh it like this make sure is it top left yes Okay. Now I am sure that I want to make sure that this points to this entire frame in a way. Okay, I think this is fine. Let's go back here. This is still loading. Alright. 
so what i want to do i want to do the same thing but um i want this to be more like at the bottom and then i will make this transparent and that will be it guys okay and then we will be done now we don't need this we really don't need this we don't need these okay we need these okay i'm just doing some cleaning a little bit okay um did i press this before i reload okay let's do it like this let's close this might take some time let's click this one and run the prototype again i think this is going to be quicker than the previous one and then let me go back to design here okay make sure i've got all of these and then let's see okay it's still uh loading okay guys um i'm not sure how long is it going to take to load i hope it's not going to be too long because i want to save your time as well okay but let's just wait for this to at least reach here okay so guys i'm happy with what we came up with don't forget guys you can join my mailing list um check the link in the description below don't forget to subscribe share this content if it's adding value to you if you've got anything that you want to ask please shoot a comment below don't forget i'm a developer as well i've got this channel that i'm also growing i develop awesome app uis here okay using react native so please guys don't forget you might as well um if you can just buy me a coffee you can also click here okay let's go back guys okay looks like we um up to something it looks like let me just wait i wonder what are these okay let's see guys where we are okay everything works well okay except that let me do some configurations okay let me do some configuration let me click here it's an overlay maybe that i'm moving in okay let me make sure that um i click these as well okay everything works well besides the fact that it moves to the center okay maybe what i need to do let me just check this guys let me delete this one okay make sure this is transparent let me go back here make sure this is transparent okay um what else let me try uh, da, da, da. okay this is an auto layout already i'm happy with it let's see does this fit perfectly yes this fits well now let me just quickly do exactly what i did very 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 quick okay i am on prototype um, okay yes i am on prototype i want to go to this one i'm happy with this let's just quickly do what we have done um open overlay from this side to this side i'm happy with that move in easy in i'm happy with that this is um 600 let's make it three it looks like we still have all the defaults that we had before except that we don't want center here we want top left okay i'm happy with this guys let's go back and see now this is what we want uh oh oh let's see but i think we are winning we are winning okay it's refreshing i don't think it's going to take us uh, some time okay let's see how long is this we have reached almost like two hours but it was worth it it was worth it guys please uh be patient and bear with me okay um this will finish now now and then we are good to go okay if you have made it this far congratulations you are going to become the best of the best trust me this is coded ui i am matthew singati the designer and developer from south africa i am going to 
take you there. Stick with me. I will make you famous. I will take you places to see different faces. Okay. Believe me, I can do that. Okay. Let's just wait for this to finish. We are almost there, guys. Okay. Um, let's see what else do I want to do here. Uh, nothing much, guys. Okay. Nothing much. If you want um, a link to the source code, please um, check the description and join um, Coded Community. You'll be taken to my newsletter. And when you subscribe to that newsletter, you will get um, a link to this um, Figma file. Okay. So please join the community. Let's become better designers and developers in 2024 so that we can improve our lives. Let's see. Okay. Almost there, guys. My apologies about this. Okay. If I had a way, I was going to do it the other way. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it's the mistake from my own side. Maybe I have only clicked this. Is that the case? My apologies guys it looks like i should have clicked this maybe i only clicked this okay okay so now what i'm going to do in order to save your time let me click this and then i'm just going to pause the video i will come back when everything is set guys my apologies for yeah i don't like to keep you waiting all right all right all right thank you so much for waiting guys we are done. We are done. Finito. Okay. Check here. As you can see, guys, this is the sidebar menu. And when we click um, anywhere else, it disappears. When we click here, it appears. When we click here, it disappears. Okay. I am happy with this. Okay. I am happy with this. We just did a great job, guys. Okay. We just did a great job. Okay. As you can see. Okay, I forgot to test this one as well. Okay, let's check here. Nice, interesting. Okay, guys, I'm Matthew Singati, the designer and developer from South Africa. Please, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a blessed year in 2024. May God bless you and learn from coded design and other channel and get a job. See you on the next one. Don't give up, have faith, believe in yourself.